Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a little folio case or a little storage pocket. Um, basically, I, I've always got little bits of paper lying around, which is something that I've maybe got to do the next day. Or um, And I know I could probably just jot it down into a diary or something, but it might be something I've seen or something someone's asked me to do. And I'll just quickly put it on a post-it and I end up just having loads of post-it notes um, and bits of paper. So I have got this that I've made and it is literally just a little kind of, yeah, just an envelope, I guess, um, just to pop bits and pieces in. Um, and then I can just slot that on my desk and it just looks much nicer than paper lying around and post-it notes stuck up on things. So um, I'm using my laminator today. I've used um, these papers from Beyond the Shore by First Edition and then this lovely sentiment which was from one of the creative stamping uh, magazine sets um, a few months back. Um, might have even been last year actually and towards the end of last year always be yourself unless you can be a mermaid then always be a mermaid so yeah perfect so that's my one there um it's really really simple but it also does look like a card so if you wanted to do laminated cards then this would work for that as well so that's what we're going to do today so very easy a little bit of a stationary kind of project today so i've got this one here and i'm going to be making this one for my mum and this was just brilliant and this is one of the Fiskars um, stamp sets and I'll share all the links in my blog but whenever I go to my mum's craft room she is very tidy but not so organised, not like me and um, I will say to her, what's this, what's that? And she'll say, oh it's just some stuff, oh it's just stuff so when I saw this I thought this is perfect so mum this is for your stuff um, so you are going to need two pieces of um, five and a half by eight and then two pieces of three by eight and then just a sentiment or something to put on top now if you want you can have your sentiment under the plastic as well but it needs to be something very flat you might want to stamp directly onto this paper or heat emboss onto it first or maybe just have one of these and I, you can see that I've got that mounted on foam you may not want you, you know but you can't put it on the foam because it won't go through your laminator so just things to think about when you're putting it together so then you need one of your laminating pouches and obviously your machine and what you want to do first of all is set this all up so it's a very quick you can these are great for craft fairs as well so that because they're very quick to kind of churn out so what you need to do first of all is flip over so this is going to be my front with the cactuses on and this is from the simply creative um so either razzle dazzle or star um uh, tropicana set but again i'll share the links to those so you want to put it in there and right up to the edge of your pocket your laminating pouch sleeve pocket whatever they're called make sure you get no hair i've got a stray hair here let's get rid of that you don't want anything else in here that shouldn't be then this one here you're going to sit next to it leaving about a quarter of an inch gap because that's going to create your little spine like so and then these pieces i've got them on the other other way around so i've got the cactus now facing up and again that one needs to butt right up over the top here so you don't want to see any of the green underneath and let's just move that one back into place once you put the the top of this sleeve down it does hold itself in place and then that one see i've cut that wrong haven't i because this one i've got it all facing the cactus the right way and then that one's facing that way but because they're pockets it doesn't actually really matter so i'm not too worried so again, make sure that's all nicely lined up. You could have this any shape. You might want to do these on a uh, kind of a triangle. You might want to have a really little pocket like that, just down in the corner. So more of like a little, um, what are they called? Just like a little slot rather than an actual whole side pocket, I guess. And then just slide that over. And a lot of them form static inside, so they do kind of hold themselves shut. And just make sure see that one there still needs to come down a tiny bit more and just play around with it until you're happy that it's all lined up like so and pinch the end the rest of it will all stay in place bring in your laminator make sure it's on the settings that it will um, stay in the manual that whatever whenever you've got it because everybody's are different some of them you might have to have a feeder sheet you might have to put this through with some um, a4 copy paper i can just put this straight in so and mine's got two settings it's got the 80 um, mic and 125 that's basically the heat um, different heats are for different thicknesses of laminating pouches so if you're unsure 
or you've brought other laminating pouches after you've brought your actual laminator, start off with the lowest first, run through your stuff. If you find it's maybe not quite sticking as well, then turn it up and run it through again. Basically what will happen if it's too hot, it will end up um, really, really warping. So then just run this through. Okay, so it's just the last bit coming out now and I'm holding this other side and keeping it as straight because if you let it drop down, because it's so hot, again, it will create like a curve. So try and keep it as straight as possible um, when you bring it out. And we'll be running this through again once we've cut it. So, right, let's just pop that back out of view there. Okay, so there it is all laminated. So now we've got these pockets, but you can't get into them. So grab yourself a cutting knife. Now this bit is... Um, you've got to take some care and take your time with it, but you just want to start off in one corner and you'll see here, um, it's hard to kind of pick it up, but you can, you can see where the join is or where the lamin when the, where the laminating pouch has gone over that layer on top. It hasn't quite stuck to this piece underneath. There'd be a very, very slightly, um, cloudy looking strip. And it's that piece there that we want to just pop in our knife and just very carefully, I need to lean down on here, keep your knife more on a side, obviously watch your fingers and you're just, you're just wanting to just create a little like hole right on the edge, just enough to start off with your knife like so. And then I can just literally very easily just cut along you can see now, look, I can get right under there, but I haven't cut through to the paper underneath. So you need to keep that knife really like flat and you're just cutting in to that piece. So now if I open that, you can see that there's no laminator inside there. That's just the normal paper. Okay, and if it's lifted up a bit, which it has there where it's gone a bit cloudy, that's because we're going to run it through again and reset it. So again, go around to the next side. And just You want to just start off in the corner, just kind of getting in there. And then once you know that you're under, it's almost like when you cut scissors, very sharp scissors on a piece of paper and you can just run it along very quickly. That's what you want. See now, look, I can just run that along and it's just cutting that plastic really well. Like so. Okay, so now I've got my two little side pockets. So now we want to run that back through. And before I do that, I'm just going to trim off this end here and some of my sides, because then the last time we run it through, it can kind of just tidy everything up. So you just want to go round and give yourself about a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch um, border of the lamin of the clear laminating plastic, laminated plastic even. So I'm just gonna. And don't worry if it's a little bit wonky. It's it's clear. You you know you're gonna really struggle to see if it's perfectly straight anyway. So I won't worry. And then I was one of these kids. Um, that had a really old laminator and I would laminate everything. It was, it was ridiculous. I was a little stationary kind of nerd when I was younger. And we've had a bit of a running joke lately in our family because I broke my mum and dad's, or my dad's laminator, uh, in not too long ago actually. And um, I promised I'd get him a new one and I did, I ordered it from Amazon and then Amazon emailed me to say it's been returned. So they refunded me. And then um, I totally forgot to reorder it for him. So I Skyped them the other day and Dad said, look what I've got. And he showed me his new laminator. And he said, yeah, I went to go and use the laminator the other night. And uh, when I asked your mum where it was, she said, oh, remember Samantha broke it? Um, so yeah, they were cursing my name in the household and Dad had to go out and get himself a new laminator, which I need to re reimburse him. Because I did break it, didn't mean to, but um, it was when I made those um, hunky-dory, um, book cards with all the bookmarks. One of those bookmarks got stuck inside the laminator and curled up around the, the runners. So yeah, if you remember me making them, I actually broke that laminator. So he's got a new one now and everything's fine in the, the laminating world. So we're okay. Okay, so I'm just running it through again there. It's just coming to the end and already now I can see it's just finished it off really nicely. And it just, um, it resets where you've cut and may have lifted it up slightly. 
and it won't reseal it so don't worry so you can see now that that's come up but it just means that that's set now perfectly on that bottom piece and it's just given you a nice finish here and again on this side it's all set there as well so it's still warm just while it's warm just keep your hands on it just to keep it flat as possible um, I mean it's not really warped because it's it's intended to be that hot for this particular um, laminating pouches so if you're ever looking that's what this means it's to do with the thickness of your um, the pouches because you can buy them with um, like I said 80 or 125 okay I've never used cold I don't know when I would cold laminate I'm not sure how that works maybe I should look that up because yeah I, I wouldn't do that okay so now that's done you want to fold it over and it will fold perfectly in half and then just grab your bone folder and just burnish that plastic. It'll be a bit bump, um, kind of bouncy at the beginning because it's new but once that gets used and you're slotting it in where you need it to be and it's filled with stuff but I really like it so now I just need to decorate it so grab this one here and I've put thick red tape on the back because that sticks really well to the plastic. Um, I mean if you're going to sit there and pick it off then it will eventually come off um, but this is stationary so it's not going to get you know, bashed about like that. So um, I'm going to stick it up the top, giving myself a nice even border. I think that's about right there. And there you have it, a really cool, fun. I think they're great. How lovely is that? So now, Mum, you can put little bits and pieces in there, your stuff. Those just random bits that you never know where to go and they just annoy me when they're on your desk and everywhere. But there are two very easy little laminated um, folio cases, or pouches, sleeves, whatever you want to call them. So there you have it. I have so many fun projects to do using the laminator um, and I plan to maybe throw in maybe a couple of months. Um, so look out for those and I'll have a separate playlist for all the laminating projects that I do and any previous ones I've done over the last couple of years I will throw them in there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today, really quick, really easy and give it a go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!